cascading parameter groups allow you to create crystal reports with cascading prompts. With cascading prompts, the response a user provides to one prompt restricts the available responses to the next prompt. For example, in a report with cascading prompts for state and city, the list of available cities is restricted to those in the state that has already been selected. In this tutorial, you will create a cascading parameter group and use it to filter the data in a report. Note that this tutorial was recorded using SAP Crystal Reports 2011, version 14.0.0.760. To navigate, use the viewer controls or follow the on-screen instructions, if available. This report lists sales for all customers. Create a cascading parameter group that includes country, region, and city. Then use the cascading prompt to display data only for customers in the selected city. First, switch to the design view of the report. Click Design. Open the Field Explorer to access parameter fields. Click Field Explorer. Create a new dynamic cascading parameter group to use to filter data. Right-click Parameter Fields. Select New. Provide a name to identify the cascading parameter group. Click in the Name text box. Type Filter, and then click the List of Values list. Cascading prompts must have lists of values that are dynamically pulled from a data source when the report is run, rather than a static list of values that is predetermined at design time. Select Dynamic. Provide a meaningful instruction for the report user. Click in the Prompt Group Text text box. Type, drill through the countries and regions to select a city, and then click in the value area. Specify the set of related data fields to use in the cascading prompt. Select Country. Click, click here to add item. Select Region. Click, click here to add item. Select City. A report parameter field will always be created to hold the value chosen for the last level of the cascade. However, you can choose to create a separate parameter field for any level of the cascade. Create parameters for all levels of the cascade. Click, click to create parameter. Click, click to create parameter. Click, click to create parameter. Commit the cascading parameter group. Click OK. Note that three parameter fields are now shown in the Field Explorer, to represent the new cascading parameter group. Next, create a record selection formula, based on the filter city parameter. Click the Select Expert list. Select Record. Select the data field to use for record selection. Click to scroll down. Select City. Click OK. Build the record selection formula. Click the operators list. Select is equal to. Click the value list. Select the filter city parameter. Commit the record selection formula. Click OK. Display the selected city directly on the report to make the report easier to understand. Add the filter city parameter field into the report title text box. Double click the text box. Click in the text box. Click Filter City to drag the object. Click in the text box to drop the object. Now, preview the report. Click the Preview tab. Select values for the cascading prompts. Click the Enter Country list. Select Canada. Click the Enter Region list. Select BC. Click the Enter City list. Select Vancouver. Submit your selected prompt values to view the report. Click OK. You have successfully created a cascading parameter group and used it to filter the data in a report. This is the end of the tutorial.